still a go on. still a support the party. Let it not be forgotten that the PNP ran this country for 18 and a half unbroken years. Bless up, bless up my people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl and Isabel Rose. Thanks to all new subscribers. Thanks to the returning subscribers to be new to the channel. Subscribe, turn the post notification bell on. Put it on all so you won't miss an upload from me. On the road to 20k, help me to get there my people. And in this one my people, Prime Minister Andrew Oles says that Mark Golden will regret the statement that he made a few weeks ago. I'm a one to know stay tuned for the details at hand. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform. Subscribe over there. Get that channel to 1K. Please and thanks. So my people with the local government elections coming down to the wire. My people, we're seeing where you know, it's heating up between the opposition leader, Mark Golin, and the Prime Minister, Andrew Oles. And I've seen an article circulated where the political analyst, Paul Ashley, is basically saying that, you know, the local government election have strayed away a bit from the councillors, the persons who are more relevant right now as it pertains to the local government election is basically the leaders of both party the jamaica labor party and the people's national party prime minister andrew oldness and mark golden respectively and so it's somewhat um a bit true to me because if the leaders them not out in a campaign the places them not packed to certain capacity so you know the people's national party leader has is crowd and a whole heap of people have come out my people and then likewise the prime minister have fit in crowd and a whole heap of them have come out same way so me could see what go come out of this year local government election right around the corner monday february 26 to be exact and so right now my people mark golden had made a statement before and me i refresh the memory with what say said this will be basically a referendum on the Jamaica Labour Party. Comrades, we're focusing on February the 26th, and that is an important day. My friends on this platform have spoken to why we need to send a signal. This will be a referendum on this government. This will be an earthquake for the Labour Party government. Because when on the 26th the PNP is victorious in the local government elections, it is only a matter of time before the general has to be called and the PNP will be returned to power under the government of Mark Jefferson Golding. And so right now we're seeing where Prime Minister Andrew Oles basically clapping back saying that Mark Golding will regret that statement. Take a listen my people. There is a change taking place in Jamaica and in Jamaican politics. That's our academics and intellectuals have not yet caught on to it, nor have they had an opportunity to reflect on it and write about it. For the first time, you have a government that can campaign on its record of performance and achievement. For the first time, you have a government that does not need to come to you and say, baby, baby, I'm going to give you the sun, the moon, and the star. This is not a general election. But such man has converted this into a general election. I don't understand that political calculus because local government election should stand on its own. But having converted it, we're, we are filling the town square of Port Antonio for a local government election. It is quite obvious that that was a miscalculation. Who tell him they got trouble Labour Party answers? Let it not be forgotten that the PNP ran this country for 18 and a half unbroken years. Let it not be forgotten that they ran the country 
at a period of time when the world economy during that 18 and a half years literally doubled. They ran Jamaica at a period of time of unprecedented economic growth and stability in the global environment. They had the best opportunity of any government to grow Jamaica and to fix the problems of Jamaica. Finally, you have a government that has managed to change Jamaica. That's so right now in this last segment where people may go now like a clippings of you know Mark Golden touching down in Penance um, Clarendon as well as Prime Minister Andrew Owen is touching down in Manchester. I want to know if you talk up in the comment section my people and tell me what you think about you know the clashing of this whole local government election yeah, between the Prime Minister and the opposition leader. Drop some comment in the comment section and let me know what the atmosphere like in a phone community in a phone surrounding. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Run go over to my other platform, Instagram and Facebook, and follow me over there at Anisabel Rose. Check out the YouTube store, make a purchase, it goes in support of the channel. Check out the YouTube membership. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member. Member shout out goes to Angela. Big up yourself, Angela. Come on board, my people. Join the membership. Only a small fee of $5. You get a lot of benefits by becoming a member of the channel. We do notifications. Shout out in each and every video to be a part of that. All you have to do is be the first to like, comment, and subscribe. And you'll be featured in the following video to come. This notification shout out goes to Alicia. Big up yourself, Alicia. Big up to each and every subscriber. New viewers, come on board. Journey with me. Join the family. Subscribe to the channel. Like up the video. Share out the videos. Support the ABR movement by playing your part. On the road to 20k, my people, we can get there. Support the channel by doing your part. Stay tuned for more updates. Stay tuned for more videos. Get this video to at least a thousand likes. Big up on yourself.